The Philippines seeks to procure new missile systems to modernize its army's capabilities as the country's military shifts to a territorial defense posture. Plans to acquire advanced missile systems such as American HIMARS MLRS and Indian BrahMos supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles were highlighted by Philippine Army Chief Romeo Bronner during the Army Artillery Regiment's 125th anniversary ceremony. The regiment's ambitious plans come as Manila enters Horizon 3 this year the final phase of the Armed Forces of the Philippines' 15-year-long modernization program. Bronner highlighted the future of the Army Artillery Regiment as the forefront of the Philippine Army's contribution toward the country's military modernization effort, stating, In the coming years, ladies and gentlemen, you will be seeing an even stronger, more lethal, Army Artillery Regiment. Our new equipment will be coming soon. At the moment, the Army Artillery Regiment's 10 artillery battalions are mostly made up of Cold War-era assets. Previously, the focus of the regiment was to support counterinsurgency operations across the Philippine archipelago. However, amid regional tensions and the insufficiency of the AFP to properly counter modern threats, the country has started to shift toward a territorial defense posture. In recent years, a new focus on territorial defense has led to a trickle of modern assets into the regiment. The unit only recently received 12 Atmos 2000s, the service's first modern self-propelled guns. While these, alongside towed cannons, were employed against naval targets in previous exercises, they are insufficient against modern warships and have a limited range. The regiment also does not have any anti-aircraft systems with the Philippine Army having to rely on autocannons and machine guns against aerial threats. In other words, the service lacks an integrated air and missile defense capability. Units activated to receive new assets have been without them for years, as seen with the regiment's two multiple launch rocket system batteries, two air defense artillery batteries, and one shore-based missile system battery. All of these units are currently waiting for their equipment, this deficiency in assets for territorial defense is set to change, with Bronner stating, We will have anti-ship missiles, we will have air defense artillery, we will have HIMARS coming in the next years. During the ceremony, the Army Artillery Regiment presented what they saw as their future capabilities. These included a variety of anti-aircraft, cruise missile, and rocket launch systems. Most notably, the regiment demonstrated its interest in procuring dedicated anti-ship and MLRS systems. For the shore-based missile system requirement of the Philippine Army, the service is expected to procure India's BrahMos supersonic anti-ship cruise missile. Previously, under its own program, the Philippine Navy ordered three batteries of BrahMos for use by the Philippine Marine Corps. BrahMos acquisition also marked a significant milestone in Philippine military modernization, with its 290 km range and Mach 2.8 to 3 speed providing a never-before-seen capability to the AFP. The first battery of BrahMos for the Philippine Marines Corps Coastal Defense Regiment is expected to arrive by December, and the Army is likely to procure two batteries of BrahMos this year. In all, two services of the Armed Forces of the Philippines will deploy five BrahMos batteries for coastal defense roles. On the other hand, the M142 high-mobility rocket artillery system is being procured for the service's multiple rocket launch system requirement. It should be noted that even with HIMARS being listed with Israelis Lynx and Korea's K239 Chunmu, the American MLRS was explicitly stated by Bronner as a system the regiment will soon receive. Another first for the Army Artillery Regiment, the acquisition of an MLRS system will provide long-range fires for the service. Naval News reached out to Colin Ko, a research fellow at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore, for his thoughts on what the procurement of HIMARS means for the Philippine Army.
In today's context, especially given what we saw in the war in Ukraine, clearly having multiple launch rocket artillery systems becomes increasingly vital. HIMARS is a precision rocket artillery system that's going to serve as a force multiplier for the Philippine Army, which by many respects, is considered a small force. In other words, where the Philippine Army is deficient in terms of mass of manpower and hardware, HIMARS may offset this disadvantage by providing precision firepower. 